Tom. Bud. Hey. You being crazy? You're chewing on my foot. Please don't chew on my foot. Don't chew on that thread either. Manatee. Manatee. You being a crazy sausage? What are you doing, bud? It's amazing how sometimes we'll just go from like zero, like six, zero to 60 and then back to zero in an instant. He's just lying on the ground there. Anyway, welcome to a brand new, it's Sunday. It's like the end of the week when I normally be vlogging. It's, it's, it's Sunday. So I apologize for not being up to date on everything that I've been doing, but uh, I'll use what I have here to explain what's been going on throughout the week. Been streaming. A variety of things has been going on. Been working on the Pantheon. Uh, I have a base pantheon down. I think I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, but I've got what I'm referring to as a blessed pantheon. And uh, yeah, blessed pantheon, uh, a physical pantheon, and an infernal pantheon. The physical pantheon is based on uh, the four elements. Um, blessed pantheon is like the basically the people who watch over what would be considered heaven. And uh, the, um, you know, the infernal one, obviously based on hell. Uh, so working on that, working on the subclasses that go along with those gods, uh, cause I made custom domains for them. I'm trying to think how many times I streamed this week. I want to say five, cause I think I, I streamed, I don't remember exactly what I streamed on Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah, I, it was five. Uh, I don't remember what I streamed on Tuesday and Thursday. I'm pretty sure Danganronpa was among them. I think it was Danganronpa and Chulip on those days. On Wednesday, I did Mario Kart with um, Chilled, Ray, Platty, Cheesy, and Matt Bragg. Uh, so that was, and that was a lot of fun. I highly recommend ch checking out that VOD because that was uh, that was a ton of fun uh, playing with them. I lost my touch at Mario Kart, though, man. All my uh, all my talent at that game just poof, out the window, uh, or not really my talent. I, the talent's still there. The luck is gone. That was that's the big issue there. Uh, I didn't stream on... No, I did stream on Saturday. I streamed uh, Mario Super Picross on Saturday because um, I wanted something chill that I could easily back out of if I needed to because that day I was also doing um, uh, game night with my uh, Tier 3 Twitch subs and my $20 plus patrons. If you wish to support either of those, I would not, I would not be opposed. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if you could tell if I was doing something weird with my eyes. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I would not be opposed to the support on those. Um, even as little as a dollar helps. Uh, and that, like, if, uh, if you're watching uh, my videos using Adblock, you know, no pressure or, or anything, but just uh, I just like to say that, like, the $1 a month completely offsets Adblock usage. Uh, so, like, it, so if you, were to, if you were to pop a dollar over onto, onto my Patreon... Uh, then uh, I've kind of considered that the uh, the guilt-free ad block tier. <laughs> so take it as you will. Uh, I'd very much appreciate it. But uh, in the end, it's your money. You, you do what you got to do. And uh, one big thing that I promote on my streams as well is take care of yourself before you take care of me. So, you know, make because you're the only you that you got. So make sure that you're number one. That's not to say that that's not to say just like, like look down on everybody. You know, you don't got to do that. But just make sure that, like, your needs are tended to, you know? At any rate, uh, Mario Super Picross is fun. Uh, I, it's the first Picross game I played, and it's, it, it was, um, it, it's a Super Nintendo game. I was playing it on the Switch's online service. Um, and, man, it's, it's, it's like, it's addictive. Um, and I've learned like all the all like the little tricks that go along with it. So like a lot of the puzzles now are coming to me so very easily now. Um, and like I'm waiting, I'm waiting for like the 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 really hard levels of uh, of that game, uh, in order to see like how much is going to trip me up at some point. And I made some mistakes in some of them in the past, but like looking at like where everything is and how everything was oriented, I was able to correct it pretty easily. Uh, that's um. I kind of I had an idea for like for 
which I guess I could do on the on the uh, the levels that there are, there are two different types of levels in it. There are levels where if you get a square wrong, it'll tell you, and it's like they're timed. You have a half hour to do them, and if you get a square wrong, it'll take time away from it. Two minutes the first time, four minutes the second time, eight minutes every subsequent time after that. Um, but uh, one way I thought about sort of like maybe brute forcing it is that on the uh, Wario levels, which doesn't have that, it doesn't tell you when you're wrong, all it does is tell you when you've completed the puzzle, um, is just go through one row and put everything that would be on that row or column like on there, and then try to match it up with the try to match it up with the opposite row or column to see if like that would work. I wonder if that strategy is is uh, is viable. It w like I said it wouldn't be viable in the Mario levels where they tell you when something's wrong and don't like you know do that. What did I stream yesterday? Metopia. Oh man, we're getting into the we're we're kind of getting we're, we're kind of past the stage of new me's being introduced in Metopia, which is kind of a shame cuz like there's still a bunch on there. We we, we have a there's been a few like funny moments there like uh like how um there's a, in the Sam and Max games, there's a joke, there's a running joke that Max doesn't even like girls. So, uh, he, I have him as a me in there, but he's like, he's very much, uh, like, a huge fan of, like, one of, like, the great fairy women. And, like, it, this whole thing is, like, him going, like, oh my god, like, she's so beautiful and so lovely, yada yada. And I end that letter by going, but Max, you don't even like girls. It's a, I, I like Sam and Max a lot. That's a game I want to stream at some point. Once my, uh, my limited run copy of Sam Max Save the World comes in, I'll probably stream or let's play that. A little bit harder to do a let's play because it is it's very dialogue heavy. Uh, but it's a it's a great game. I, I recommend I recommend uh, I haven't I haven't played Hit the Road, but I recommend at the very least the uh, the Telltale trilogy. So um uh Save the World, Through Time and Space, and The Devil's Playhouse. Those are all uh, those are all really good Sam and Max games. And another thing that uh, that he did, which uh, Manatee's going to be a little excited about here in a minute. Uh, okay, well, okay. Full disclosure: I'm recording this on Monday, so the the last week has already passed. But um, on because uh, I think I already mentioned on Sunday, so there goes there goes that illusion anyway. But anyway, uh, I took Manatee to a uh, cafe that's like that's like within like a couple miles of me. Uh, which is significantly closer than Zilker Park is. But uh, it has, like, this big fenced-in, like, back area where you can just let your dog sort of, like, wander around. You can hang out in there with your dog, but you can just let your dog wander around out there and they can, like, play with other dogs. And, like, there's some toys out there and, like, um, you know, little obstacles if they, want, if, they, if they want to, like, climb up on stuff or, like, go through tunnels and whatnot and, like, water bowls. And they serve, uh, they serve food and drinks there, so... Uh, it's, that's been really nice. The only problem I have with it is that the, uh, the bedding, uh, uh, quote unquote bedding is like, uh, is like mulch. Uh, I don't know if I can, if you can really call it mulch, but you know how like the, those, like those wood, those like wood, wood chips that, uh, that like they line like playgrounds with, uh, the bedding is basically that, but it's like a thin layer of it. So there's a lot of like dirt underneath and he got he got he didn't get very dirty. There was another d white dog there that was that was uh, that was uh, brown, very brown. Uh, by the end of uh, by the end of like my visit there, uh, in fact, the dog came up to me and like rubbed rubbed himself on my leg and my arm, and I was just like covered in dirt. <laughs> so that was that was pretty funny. Yeah, but anyway, uh, it's been it's been a it's been a good week. It's been a busy week. I've been doing a lot of work. I, I, I oh I also finished um, recording Saints Row two. Uh, once Dan has all those edited, then uh, they'll be done with. Uh, I believe on let's see. I recorded six episodes of it, so that means that Tuesday the. I want to say it's the 31st. Tuesday the 31st will be the last day of Saints Row 2. And then that Thursday I'll be starting a new Let's Play. Probably record it sometime this week as well. Uh, but yeah, gonna, gonna, gonna pick back up on that and hopefully, uh, hopefully get that done right quick. But anyway, it's been a good week. Hope you all had a good one. I had a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. Later!